Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over one of those topics that we don't like going through and that is when we forget the password to one of our system, the systems that we manage. In this case, I'm going to go over how to reset the password to a user account in Splunk Enterprise. Let's say that you are the admin or you are taking over uh, this system and you don't know the password to the account, right? It happens, you know, if you're managing, you know, like multiple systems over long periods of times, you know, it could happen that you forget the password. So that's why it's a be best practice to use a password manager. So that's another topic. So with that being said, let me uh, show you here. As you can see, I have Splunk Enterprise uh, configured on this system. I have a Ubuntu box that I'm running on. Uh, that what I'm going to show you today is going to be unique to this version of Splunk. It may work on previous version, past version 7, but I know there are some versions where this is not going to work. So what I want to show you is my existing architecture. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to see the uh, config, the version of Splunk. So I'm going to go into the uh, directory where Splunk is installed on and then I'm going to do a Splunk version and as you can see here I'm running Splunk 9.22 so if you are new to Linux or command lines or whatever so the cat command is the command that is going to display the content of a, of a file and this is the, fi the, the file that I want to display the content on, and this is just the path to get there, right? So if you're reading the Splunk documentation or any other documentation, they're going to be putting, like, um, question marks right here, and it just means that you have to point to the directory where Splunk is installed on. That's what it means. So as you could see, we're running on version 9.22, and for my um, uh, Linux computer, I'm going to see the version as well. And as you could see, I am running this on Ubuntu 22.04. This is a test environment that I'm running this right here. Uh, so if we're going to be doing this in production, I would advise you to Make sure you do proper planning if you have uh, Explung support. Just give them a call or just make sure you're doing the right things, right? You don't want to mess up with things in production. So um, what the, the process is pretty straightforward. So what you need to do first, like this is the way I do it, and it's simple, but you could do everything without switching directories. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to switch into the uh, Explung directory. So I have that in... Uh, OPT, then I have go Splunk, then you have to go into the e etc directory, as you could see, I'm right there. And what we're going to be doing in this case, we're going to be um, backing up the password file, this file right here. We're going to be backing that up in case we mess things up, right? But this, you know, it's a best practice to do something like that. I'll always create a backup before you make any changes. So in uh, we're going to be renaming this. That's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to do MV to rename it. Password, and I'm going to name it, you know, whatever you want to name it to, as long as you remember what the um, name of the file is. Oh, I need uh, elevated privileges for this. And as you could see, the file has been uh, renamed. What you need to do now, you need to create a um, a user seed configuration file in the system local directory. So let's hit over or let's go back. Actually, let me see. Probably it's here. Let me just do this. And do I see the system local directory here? Okay, so here we are, system and then local, and here we are. So in this directory, we're going to create a new user 
seed configuration file that is going to be loaded when we restart Splunk. And as a matter of fact, something that I forgot to do before, let me stop Splunk because it is running in the background as you can see here. So the way to do it, since I don't want to switch directories, I'm going to go sudo space opt um, Splunk. Then I'm going to um, etc. And then I'm going to do Splunk. Plunk stop. Okay. What am I missing here? Probably I'm not typing something right. Let me check the uh, the syntax. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's not in the etc. The um, Splunk executable is in the uh, bin directory. So I'm going to change that here to bin. And this is going to take, as you could see, may take a few minutes depending on the configuration that you have. This is a test environment, so it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so I stopped Splunk. So this page, if I refresh it, it should fail, as you can see. And then uh, I'm going to create the, um, the user seed configuration file. So let me uh, show you what I have here. I don't have it. So use whatever uh, file editor you like uh, on your system. I'm going to use nano. And I'm going to name this user.c.conf. And in here, you are going to specify the setting for the username. So you're going to start with brackets, and you're going to uh, specify that it's going to be user underscore info. You close the bracket, and then you type in the, um, <coughs> the information that you would like to type, right? So the um, if you want to um, log in with a new username, I'm going to do that. Username is going to be Splunk Admin, the same one that I was using. And the um, password, it's going to be whatever new password you want to use. Right? And then you're going to save it. And now we're going to restart Splunk so that configuration file gets reloaded. Okay, so as you could see, it was reloaded successfully. So I had that link already open before. So let me uh, access that one more time. And now I am going to attempt to log in with the new password. And that's it. That's how you reset the password to a Splunk Enterprise from uh, Ubuntu or Linux um, operating system. I'm assuming that it's going to be something similar on Windows. Um, I, don't, I don't run Splunk on Windows, but let me know if you're interested in that and maybe I can create a video for that. So I hope this information was useful to you, that you liked the video. All I ask you for you is to click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you think this information is useful. And as always, uh, I'm going to ask you for a feedback on these Splunk videos because this is the first iteration of those videos that I'm creating. My goal is to have a very uh, concise, clear to follow uh, Splunk, libra Splunk uh, videos library that can be used by many people that is going to be used for everybody. So your feedback would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and have an amazing rest of the day.